Election night in Minsk. Hours after Belarus's incumbent president Alexander Lukashenko was declared victor, the disbelief and outrage from many voters was palpable. The official figures show Lukashenko secured 80% of the ballots, and his main rival, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, winning just under 10%. Those numbers don't add up for opposition supporters. In the capital and around the country, they let authorities know it. The Interior Ministry says 3,000 people were detained nationwide for taking part in what it calls unauthorised gatherings. Lukashenko has led Belarus since 1994, winning every election with a landslide. His sixth time on the ballot was never expected to end with any other outcome. In this former Soviet country, the state-run institutions remain loyal to the president. But this year, the public mood appears to have been turning against the strongman. Promises of economic prosperity for the people haven't materialized. And like other nations, Belarus hasn't escaped the coronavirus pandemic. Lukashenko originally dismissed it. To date, nearly 70,000 Belarusians have tested positive for COVID-19, including Lukashenko himself. It's with that backdrop that an unlikely political voice emerged in the form of Svetlana Tikhanovskaya. The former teacher turned stay-at-home mother decided to run after her husband, a popular blogger, was first barred from campaigning and later jailed. Her key political promise? To run fresh elections with all candidates. It's one of the largest shows of political dissent against the president in his quarter century in office. Ahead of voting, Lukashenko said the opposition didn't amount to anything. But he still had this warning. Government critics have accused the authorities of vote rigging. Tikhanovskaya has rejected the results and has called for a peaceful transfer of power. I think that we've already won because we overcame our fear, we overcame our indifference to politics, we overcame our apathy and indifference. Such victories are more important than all the other victories. These are very important victories in the life of every person. Lukashenko says the protesters on Sunday night were sheep being directed from abroad and he won't allow his country to be ripped apart by instability. But the protests show there is discontent, and that won't go away even if he governs with an iron grip. Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.